Okay, so um, we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, so I did some thinking and uh, kind of determined that um, we're, we're in this... <clears throat> sorry. Uh, we are in this, um, th this, this, this goblin sort of territory, and I don't think we necessarily need to be. I think uh, we haven't really investigated the, uh, the abduction like we were supposed to. So I think what we're going to do, let me just get my, my zoom set up here. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that town that we were at. Um, to pull up the, oh no, 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 we're going to, yeah, okay, Seabrook Bronze Crow. We're going to, um, but yeah, yeah, we're going to do more investigation there is what I think, well, what I'm planning to do today. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Um, first, we're going to jump on our camel here, get going. Okay. I think in order to um, kind of properly tackle uh, goblin pits, we probably need to have a companion following us around. So I think we'll get ourselves into trouble. Like even if we run into like even a small group of goblins, it's probably going to get us in trouble. And I think let's check our inventory here. I think um, I think I need to get myself a little more uh, food. We need to refill a water skin, get some more food. Cause we only have five of the cat meat left, so we're gonna work on that too. Um, I'm gonna go into um, sneaking mode. What I like about sneaking mode is when you come across creatures, you get um, lines of sight, so you can kind of see what direction they're facing and what they're looking at and kind of be able to sneak up on them a little bit better. Which I think is helpful. So I kind of like how it's like, I don't know if I explained this earlier, but if you, uh, if you look at these, these, these circles, that's a, that's a tree, finger lime tree trunk. And, uh, what I think is neat about that is it's like as you kind of walk around it, it blocks off your view. There's a lot happening in this game. Ooh, what's that? That letter P down there. What are you? A skinny Tercial Peregrine. Here we have a skinny Tercial Peregrine. Um, can we get more information? How do I get more information? Oh yeah, okay. So, A. A skinny terciel. A skinny terciel peregrine. Description: A small bird of prey that is capable of great speed. They dive. They dive on unsuspecting vermin. He is incredibly skinny. His feathers are brown. His skin is pale chestnut. His eyes are black. I'm gonna try to be better about reading some of these. Um. I know, like, I'm not super familiar with, like, what all the icons are. Um, I play ASCII pretty often. I'm kind of not really a fan of the uh, a lot of the texture packs that are out there. 
Uh, I like playing pretty much just the vanilla game. There's a few utilities that you can get. What was that? There's an announcement. Um, oh, all right. There is, uh, you can't travel to the dark pits. You must dismount. Oh, all right. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of utilities that come with, like, the lazy noob pack that make this game a lot easier to play. And, um, but mainly if, if I'm playing for mostly adventure mode, then I don't think I'll need all of those. I think at some point I want to add, like, maybe sound sense. So for some reason I noticed the, uh, music in the background isn't working. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, let's continue. We're still drowsy, so we are going to need to sleep at some point. Our uh, circle here is starting to kind of close in, which tells me that it's getting darker. It's all this blue around us. Nope, not talk. L. Uh, dense dry grandma. Looks like we can't we can't get more information on that. That's fine. I'm sure it's just a type of grass. Let's be. What's that? What are you? A barn owl. Oh, I wonder if we need to turn on... No, no. Not that. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if we need to turn on tracking? Is there a way to do that? Let's, let's see the key bindings. See if there is. Um, so I think being able to find footprints and tracking is probably going to help us, but I don't know if it's, like, something you can do passively. Let's just see. Okay. Movement options, M. Let's look at that. Current swing uh, preference. Is that all? That's all. Okay. Okay. I'm going to spend a lot of time on the screen, just, just so you're aware. Ooh, you is interact. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Combat preference. Party tactical settings. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to get into. Probably with our, our next adventure, we're going to actually form a party, see how that works. I'm like kind of curious to see how that all works. I played around with it a little bit already. There's kind of a lot. Um display odor information um alt k oh no just capital k is display all nearby tracks let's see Ooh, okay tracks visible seven all right and that stays on okay so we're leaving tracks now i think that'll be helpful so that'll, that'll up our uh, our tracking skill as well i believe What's that? Not okay. I keep doing that wrong. Um, a kestrel. A lot of birds out here. Not that there's anything wrong with birds. It's just I'm kind of looking for like a larger beast. So that way we can have some some more food. I think that's also another barn owl. Oh no, a fat honey badger. Perfect. All right. Let's try to sneak up on him. Let's 
We're going to dismount to the east. Oh, well, not let me dismount to the east. That's fine. E, let's dismount right here on the ground. Stand up, buddy. You stand up. Uh, lie on the ground. No. Um. Visual stealth, great. Low light, clear open area, non-prone vegetation, average non-prone profile. Oh, so if we go prone, that'll actually help us sneak. Um, do we have our weapons out? No, we do. Okay. Cool, cool. Also, I got the uh, copper pick and the bronze battle axe. And I realized that like a lot of the crafting you can do, you only need any sort of like edged weapon. So I didn't necessarily need to bring the bronze battle axe, and I might get rid of that later, just because it's probably going to slow us down. But I'm kind of interested to see if you can actually do any mining in adventure mode, because I'm pretty sure you cannot. I know you can do like some limited building that I've kind of messed with before, but I'm not sure if you can actually dig. I, I kind of want to see if that's if that's a thing. Okay, I'm just going to sneak up on this badger. Cool. Shift A, confirm combat, alt Y. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go for, I'm just gonna go for that upper body strike. You silently slash the honey badger, the fat honey badger in the upper body from behind with your copper short sword, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the right lung. The fat honey badger is having trouble breathing. Okay. Strike, easy strike, very square. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's stab him. Um, you silently stab the fat honey badger in the upper body from behind with your copper short sword, tearing apart the muscle and, and tearing apart the liver. An artery has been opened by the attack. The copper short sword is lodged firmly in the wound, so we're going to gain control of that. Gain possession. Okay. Mm, you struggle for the copper short sword. You gain possession of the copper short sword. Um, Lytas silently kicks the fat honey badger in the second right front toe from behind with her right front foot, shattering the nail. Ouch. The force pulls the right front paw, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Wow, okay. Lytas charges at the fat honey badger from behind. The fat honey badger looks surprised by the ferocity of Lytas's onslaught. Our camel is a better fighter than we are. Wow. My test collides with the fat honey badger. The fat honey badger is knocked out, knocked over and tumbled, tumbles backward. The fat honey badger stands up. My test silently bites the fat honey badger in the front left front leg from behind, tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone. A tendon has been torn. My test latches on firmly. The fat honey badger gives into pain. Yeah, my test is a much better fighter than we are. Oof. The honey badger has been struck down. Well done. Okay, so... Alright, where's our, where's the honey badger? Spattering of honey badger blood. The front leg that got severed and torn off. A uh, mangled, mutilated corpse. Alright. So... I want to... Is it, is it you? Capital U? No, no. There's regular U? Alright interact with C I don't know what that does all right let's stand on top of it G to get the mutilated corpse right yeah um, put it in the all right we don't need to put it in the bag I want to butcher it that X butcher E butcher oh no maybe it needs to be on the ground sorry I'm bad at this game um, D for drop, we're going to drop the mutilated corpse. Now we're going to butcher it. Yes, good, okay. With the copper short sword, you bet. Okay, now what do we have? We have bones, honey badger meat, we want that. How many? Well, we'll take seven, see if that slows us down. Oh yeah, we're not slowed down. 
if um, I, I found that if you if you're over, if you over encumber yourself, your uh, your speed, which is kind of it's marked down here. I didn't point that out before, but your speed is marked out down here. So we're currently sneaking and we're moving at one time speed, which is normal speed, which makes sense because I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we're moving at a walk. So so that's fine. That's where we need it. But like if we pick up too much stuff, and we could probably do that. Um, then then it'll slow us way down. Uh, let's get some bones. What else can we get? I'm not sure what the utility of the rest of these is. So let's let's just kind of scroll through here. Um, chocolate of liver. Let's get some of that. Um, lungs. Sure. Both of them. Uh, I'm not sure if, um, like, animal tissue, if it's in your inventory, will begin to rot. I know in, like, Fortress mode, if it's left outside, it will rot. Let's see. Oh, this is already... <laughs> I'm already running out of time here, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Let's just leave that. That's fine. Worst light test. You disappear again, my test. Hmm. Companions, not visible. Why are you not visible? Why are you not visible, my test? Let's try what we did before. Let's wait for. No, no, we're not gonna wear. Oh, we can wear a quiver. Are we wearing a quiver now? What are we wearing? How do we see what we have equipped? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, okay, so if we if we if we go to remove an item, it should tell us what we have currently wearing. Okay. So, all right, leather trousers, leather dress, leather robe, alpaca wool cap, right glove, left glove, socks and shoes, socks and shoes, and a backpack. Solid. We aren't really armored either. I feel like that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, we were going to wait. Stars are out. Oh, that's weather. Capital W is weather. That's nice. Um, what is it? It's, it's in sleep, isn't it? We're gonna just wait for not eight hours. For like one hour. That's probably dangerous. <laughs> if we hear like cackling, that's going to be bad. There you are. There's light test. How are you doing, light test? Ally, light test. A. Hmm. Your left rear leg is still hurt. Elk bird blood, elk bird blood. Man, you are filthy. Filthy camel. There's blood all over you. All over you. Your single. Just notice now, it's got. She's um. She's got a a, a tail and a single hump. It's a one humped camel. Um. Uh, a large long necked creature with a large hump on its sturdy body. It has been domesticated to carry passengers and cargo, but is nonetheless bad-tempered and will spit. Her hair is tan, her skin is burnt umber, her left rear leg bears a tiny curving scar. Her eyes are black. I wonder if she got that scar from, uh... I wonder if she got that scar from... from fighting those elk birds. I kind of hope that, um, that I'm doing this right and I don't need to be, like... Feeding, feeding, feeding my camel consistently. Why am I? Why can't I not move? Hello. D. Dismount. My test. Come on. Okay. Yeah, 
Yes. Okay, now we're moving. Now we are moving. All right. Now, what was the town we were in that we, uh... What was that town that we needed to go to? Because Seabrook Bronze Crow was in that town. Like, people were saying that, oh yeah, Seabrook is my neighbor. Let's just try to search for people, maybe? People. Uh, filter for Seabrook. Nope. Oh, that's all capital. All right, let's just look through here. Nope, apparently this is all people that we've talked to before. There's Key Crossed. I have no idea what happened to him. <laughs> you have known this person since his birth. Where are you though? You last spoke a few days ago. This is your traveling companion. Yearling see at the ceiling. Yeah? Is that where you currently are? All right, let's try to find you. Let's go south. It says south. I don't know if that's correct or not, but we're gonna do it. Cause I, I really need to have a companion. I don't know if Lytas is gonna be enough to hold off like the boogeymen that come out at night. So they can end your game real quickly, especially if you're like a new New player. We're getting a lot of announcements that I'm not reading. Okay. We have a chubby pangolin somewhere around here. And it ate a beetle. That's great. That's great news. It's not really. I'm being sarcastic. I don't, I don't care one way or another about the pangolin eating the beetle. It's interesting. Are these still uh, spider webs we're seeing here? Yeah, giant brown recluse spider silk web. That doesn't sound great. Pretty sure if a giant brown recluse spider bites you, I think you you die of poison or infection or something, and it's pretty quick. I had I had that happen to a uh, an adventurer one time. I was in like an underground cavern. And I thought I was being all clever exploring this underground cavern, and I got stuck in one spider web and immediately got killed. Like, immediately. It was two turns after I got stuck. It's S. What are you? A muscular rattlesnake. Let's not... Let's not mess with that. We have we have a goal. We have a goal that we're trying to accomplish. I think also too when we uh, when we meet back up with Keycross, if we can find him, he's probably going to have more information that might help us with solving this abduction. So I I realized that I wasn't using the investigation system, which I believe is new since this this latest update. Um. And I think the way it works is it'll kind of populate your... Ooh, we discovered a river. Great. I think it'll populate your uh, your quest log with more information and that you can follow through with. That looks like deeper water. Should we try to ford it? Let's go. Ooh. Will it not let us? Let's try Alt-M. Move carefully. No. Maybe we need to get off Lie Test in order to cross that river. Let's try that. We're gonna dismount to the north, D. Uh, I'm not sure about swimming. Oh yeah, we're great, we're great. Did Lytas make it? Where are you? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <gasps> A muscular carp slaps right Lytas in the front foot, front leg with her tail, but the attack glances away. Lytas is fighting a carp in the water. My test, where are you? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Nope, you're you're killing a carp. And it retched. I don't know carps could retch. Lie test. There you are. We're swimming. We can swim. Great. It's better than floundering. Okay, can we... Can we lead you? 
out of the water. Yes, great. That went beautifully. Good job. So what I kind of want to do also is if our adventurer dies, I want to pull up uh, Legends mode and see if we made any sort of impact on the world we've created. Because I think since everything's sort of connected within the uh, the world building, so the world is still currently building. Like as we even play in adventure mode, the like events are happening in the world and uh, things are still happening and developing. So I'm wondering if like if by playing we can affect like world building elements. I think that's how this this works. I've never had an adventurer really make it that far enough to like be able to see any sort of progress like that. I'm pretty sure this is shallow water. We can just walk across that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. It's H. Probably repeat myself a lot. A fat hornbill. Okay. Um, I probably repeat myself a lot. I, I have to double check stuff a lot, which is it's probably fine. I realize I could be traveling right now. I could be in travel mode, trying to get to Yearling Ceiling. We should be like, not far. It's hard to tell. Okay, okay, we can see. Vessel flank. I don't think this is where we need to be. The courteous jungle. I love it. Okay. World ring hillocks. The courteous jungle. Let's check our map real quick. Make sure we're heading in the right direction. Um, beautiful map. Um, yearling ceiling. Okay, so it's down to the... It's southwest of us. Uh oh yeah still nighttime it's I don't know it's too dangerous to travel like this let's uh let's stop for a little bit let's sleep um until dawn okay stop All right I believe it is now morning. Uh, no, no. Um, the sky is striped with thin clouds. The sun is rising to the east. There is a cool breeze blowing from the west. All right, so it's morning. Sorry, I just had to take a drink there. Um, okay, hungry and thirsty. Let's eat something. Cat meat. We're good there. Some water. Oh, I forgot to fill my water skin. <clears throat> next time, next river we find, we're gonna fill that water skin. Oh, we're getting this again. Occasionally, I notice it's not like when we stop traveling, it won't let me control light test, and I have to get off and get back on. Can I find my mount wall prone? Oh, we're prone. Of course we are. We just woke up. <laughs> light test is standing on top of us. We can't stand up. 
Lie test, quit it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, west southwest is a symbol. Let's see. If I pull up this menu, can I see what the symbols are? Icons. Um. I don't know. I could probably look at that later. That's fine. Um. I kind of disappointed that I can't get my music to work. Um. That's strange to me that it shuts off. It's probably just some setting that I'm missing. But yeah. Um, I've been going on for a little while now, so I'm just going to stop for a little bit. Um, so I don't want to make these videos too terribly long. I kind of want to keep them like a nice... Um, medium length and then maybe like I might change my mind on that later on but um, see there's the music again but yeah we'll kind of see I'm not exactly sure how I want to run this uh, video series yet so yeah thanks for joining me see you next time